Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Yes, let's talk about Coach Chris Hitting's best 11 that he could use in Ghana versus Angola. Don't forget, yesterday, Coach Chris Hitting released the 25 man squad for the Black Stars of Ghana, of which I brought it to you on this channel. I'm very optimistic that you were happy with the Black Stars of Ghana's call up. I think this is um you know in many years this has been a collab that most Ghanaians were really really happy i would say about 95 percent of Ghanaians were really settled with the squad and i think i'm also very certain with this squad i'm um, just that maybe just the player that i felt he could have been added but hey it is up to the coach and i think this is a very good squad for ghana now ghana versus angola on 23rd of march in kumasi then angola versus ghana on 27th of march in luanda which games uh, we're gonna be winning. I'm very optimistic that we can win the one in Kumasi and even win the one in Angola Even though it's going to be tough away, but hey, Ghana, we have the pedigree and the level to win In this video, we are going to talk about the best 11 that the Black Stars of Ghana's team will approach this game And um, also the formation or the kind of tactical play that we should go into this game with You know how we do it, you know that when it comes to tactics and other stuff, hey, we are on top of it So let's talk about it in this video before then just drop us a like like the video after that make sure you subscribe you put on the bell for more updates then you also let me know your best 11 that you think coach chris Hitting should go into games with now before we begin the whole thing chris Hitting is a coach who likes going in with a 4-2-3-1 kind of formation yes you know many coaches they have their style of play and um, that is how coach chris Hitting usually approach games looking at him from um, you know brighton hope Albion, where he spent a lot of years qualifying them to the epl from championship and that is the kind of play he usually goes in with when he faces opponents that actually you know attacks more or have more of the ball then he would like to go with a 4-4-1-1 kind of formation so in this video we are going to concentrate on the 4-2-3-1 formation that is how he likes approaching i think against angola that is how ghana will also approach the game i'll also be bringing you the one from angolan national team of course so let's quickly jump into it now with the goalkeeping aspect i think um for now i will go in for lawrence atizigi lawrence atizigi for many reasons that um one he was imposed for the black stars of ghana the fifa world cup and he did extremely well even though he considered a lot of goals in the world cup but with the pair the number of saves and other things i think he did one our defense was really shaky during the world cup and we were not stable and um, i think i'll still keep at his game for joseph lukolokot he's not getting a lot of playing minutes in charlton since he returned and i'm um, not even a minute at all so i i will not go in for him ahead of at his game with um manav Nudin, just similar to um, wallacott he's also not getting play minutes at ks Pin. which i think our good pain department is really really down and um at his game for me he will stand top if you go to the Swiss super league yes he's doing well for saint gallen yet he's considering lot of goals and he is the best keeper in them this tells you that he pulls a lot of saves in the games and i wish should actually look at maybe saint Gallen's defense or something so i'll just go in for this game will be um, or in my post for the black stars of ghana now let's talk about the back four yes i know where the problem will be in the central defense pair but let me just talk about the two um laterals you know or the right back and the left back with the right back um, i'll opt for Tarek lamte for many reasons yes Tarek over dennis odoy professor well odoy really does well in black stars of ghana we all actually recall what he did for us before we qualified against angola for the qatar 20 um, against nigeria for the qatar um, 2022 world cup but um, i would like Tarek to continue that kind of performance he gave to ghana against um south korea at the fifa world cup and um, also he is doing well for the club side um recently he picked up a knock i think it's not really a serious injury because chris Hitting will definitely speak with him before bringing out their squad so i'll go in for Tarek lamte to play at my right back where he can also add a lot going forward i will later on talk about Tarek lamte possibly playing as a left back and um, it is interesting but you know for now i'll keep him at the right back position for the black stars of ghana now with the left back i won't waste my time i'll go in for gideon mensa who plays for aj or in the french lake and um yes 
um, for now he was invited and in this same position we also have Patrick Pozo who was also invited from Sheriff Terespor and I think looking at the vast experience um, that Gideon Manson has in Blasters of Ghana, yes he will start. Maybe if Baba Rahman was to be there he could have given him that kind of challenge in that position but for now I think it is going to go for Gideon Mensah. Now with the two central defense pair, that is where some issues can come. Yes, one player who is the mainstay currently is Mohamed Salisu. He is a mainstay in the central defense line, and um, he is going to play. He is a Southampton player. He also went out on injury. He is now back by yet to play games for Southampton, and um, he is a top quality defender any time, any day. He also had goals going forward. We know that he scored. I think against Switzerland, he also scored in the war for Ghana so he is a fantastic defender and now maintain him on the right side uh, on the left side of the two defense pair now on the right side I will go in for Alexander Jiku Alexander Jiku if Patrick Pfeiffer was to be well and invited I would love to see more from him but looking at what Daniel Amate did in World Cup with Ghana when he was pairing with Salisu I think it wasn't the great um, you know performance that he can give to Ghana so I would like Amati to relax a little and actually try or test um, Salisu and um, um, Strasbourg's um, Alexander Jiku we know Alexander Jiku already he has been performing very well for the Black Stars of Ghana whenever he is on the field and now we want to see that partnership between him and Salisu Mohammed. we also have other players like Joseph Edu of which I think as time goes on, we should give him a chance to also play in Black Star. He has been performing consistently for the club side Shelta Vigo, but whenever he comes to the national team, he is not giving the chance. So I'll go in for Salisu and um, a player in the name of Alexander Jiku. Now, with the two players who are going to sit in front, after this, a 4 2 3 1. The two, I think uh, we have them already. Yes, one is going to be Salis Abdul Samed, who plays for Arsenal in the French League One. He's a fantastic defensive midfielder, doing well with Fofana in there. If you have been watching their games, he is very exciting to watch. We also saw his partnership with Thomas Departey at the Just Ender Qatar World Cup. He did very, very well, even more than um, Hot Party did, as many can agree with me. So I will still maintain him in there and partner him um, with Thomas Ter Party. Obviously, we want to see that kind of collaboration, that kind of partnership to continue so that they can build a very solid midfield for the Black Stars of Ghana. So our partner Pate alongside, I don't have to be talking about Pate, we all know his performance usually for Arsenal this particular season, but for the Black Stars of Ghana, he has not been giving us that top-notch performances consistently. Usually he does in some games, but for consistent performance, I can't stick my neck out for Thomas T. Pate. Now let me talk about the three in the midfield, yes. <laughs> It's going to be interesting, you know. Let me begin from the right wing. The right wing position, I'm going to give it to one player. That is Joseph Painter. Joseph Painter at the right wing, I think, will be very good for me because um, if you watch him at KRC Gang, he can operate from the left, he can also operate from the right. The reason why I'm putting him there is he will have opportunity to run more, cut in. If you watch Ghana, I think Ghana versus Morocco, right, in the last AFCON. Um, he was the best player in that game and the next game he was benched and he was playing in similar position in the Black Stars of Ghana. So I'm going to go in for Joseph Pinto. This season, he has been doing extremely well, scoring about 11 goals, providing 9 assists. His performance for KRC Gang in the Belgium Pro League has been fantastic and I would like to go in for the player in the name of Joseph Pinto to play at the right wing position. I know we have players like Osman Bukhari who can also run down the lines, do very well for the Black Stars of Ghana. But I would like to maintain him there. I don't want to play Kudus at that area. Even though Kudus was added as a striker. But we'll get there. Let's talk about the left wing position. Le left wing position, I think, obviously, I'll go in for Kamal Adin Suleiman. Because I want to see more from him. In the World Cup, we didn't see more from Kamal Adin Suleiman. He played against um that is um uruguay and when he came on we all saw the daily, daily work he did we all saw the runs he was the fastest player in the qatar 2022 world cup and this means that if we continue to give him a lot of opportunities in blasters he's going to build after leaving um that is um star rene in france to southampton we've seen what he's giving to the team this story that if you continue to give him opportunities Kamadi Suleimana will improve as a left ringer. So I'll go in for Kamadi Suleimana to play my left ring against Angola. Now, 
with the right and left wing the one i'm going to play him in the typical number 10 position offensive midfielder i'm going to go in for kudus mohammed while kudus was added as a forward in the black stars of ghana's call up of which i don't understand i don't really fathom it you know maybe the coach really knows what he was doing but um i would like kudus to play in the favorite position that he has said that that is where he wants to play the number 10 role and um if we play him there as time goes on, he will improve as a player. Many are also with the thought that whenever he plays there, he doesn't feed, um, you know, the main striker being it Iñaki Williams or anyone. So, uh, maybe we should change that position for him. But, you know, from club side, we shouldn't always be following what they do at the club side. Sometimes some players, if they go to the club side, the position they play, when you bring them to the Blasters of Ghana, it might not work. And I think this is a time we need kudus mohammed to continue to play at the favorite position that he likes so i would like to go in for mohammed kudus to play my number 10 role for the black stars of ghana against angola now with the last player which is going to be the main striker i'll go in for inyaki williams yes inyaki williams will be my main number nine for the black stars of ghana well he's here to square a goal for ghana but i think it's about time that um he will adjust to the team the system will play another thing if you look at the qatar world cup he wasn't all that bad well um if you look at the number of chances ghana created the number of opportunities he had as a striker that is where you can actually judge him from not that he had a lot of clear or obvious opportunity he wasn't able to bury them i think as time goes on he will gel with the players and everything will be all right many are also thinking that we should go in for two strikers but coach Chris Sitting usually goes with a striker. That is what I know about him. Even when he was at Brighton, he was going in for one later on. Then maybe he will add more pay or something. So let's see how things will go with the Black Stars of Ghana squad. So this is my possible 11 that Ghana should go in against Angola. Quickly, let me just run you through. The goalkeeper I went in for, Lawrence Atizigi. I think he should be the goalkeeper for Ghana. Right back, I went in for Tariq Lamte. Yes, to be the right back for Ghana. Left back, Gideon Mensah to be there. Then, the two centre backs, I'll go in for um, Salih Sumamed on the left side. Then, Alexander Diko on the right, but definitely they will pay in them. Now, with the midfield too, I'll go in for Thomas Tepate and... Salis Abdul Samed, the two are also going to work then continue their partnership. With the right wing, I went in for Jose Pinto. Then the left wing, I went in for Kamal Adin Suleiman. Kudus Mohamed will be behind the main striker. Then Inyaki Williams will be up front for the Black Stars. And I think this squad can just defeat Angola. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Many will make cases for um, the captain for the side, Andre Dede Rami Morgan. Are you Jordan? Are you um, Osman Bukhari? Antoine Selom Semenyon, um, even the new player who has been added as Majid Ashmiru. Um, he's not a new player entirely though, but he's making a return. Majid Ashmiru, then some other players. I think every player, including Ralph Fire Bok on his sofa and others, are very in a good position to start for Ghana. Whenever they are giving their start, I think they are going to deliver for the Black Stars of Ghana. My, this is my best 11. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe. Put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV and of course, we shall meet later.